Hey guys, it's Soda here. Welcome back to another video. Sorry if I look a little bit sunburned and a little bit sweaty. Um, currently, where I live, uh, it's summer and we're having a heat wave, which, like, never happens. So, this is what gave me the idea to make this video, though. But uh, I don't have air conditioning, so I'm kind of dying. Anyways, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to talk about how to keep your ex lol cool during summer. Now, I know most of my viewers come from America and other countries in the Northern Hemisphere, so this probably isn't very relevant to you right now, but it's summer where I live, so it is relevant over here, and uh, this video might be helpful for the future anyway. And some people just live in like a really hot country that's always hot, so you know. Now I have made a few different care videos about X levels already, um, and I have briefly talked about keeping them cool during summer because temperature is a very important thing for axolotls, um, but I thought I would just make a whole video about it and really like go into detail about all the different things you can do to cool the axolotls tank down, and also why it is so important to keep their temperature low. Now to be honest, usually I don't have to worry about keeping my axolotls tank low because I live in a very cold area of my country, but this year we've actually been having quite a few hot days during summer and like I said, going through a heat wave right now. So this time I actually have had to put things in place to keep her temperature cool, which usually I don't have to worry about too much. But also that gives me a good opportunity to show you guys like what I'm doing to keep her temperature low. Basically, exiles are cold water animals. It's really important that you try to keep their tank water under 20 degrees Celsius. The best temperature for them is around 15 to 18 degrees Celsius, which is 59 to 65 degrees Fahrenheit. If your tank temperature gets too high, you may notice stress signs in your axolotl and even in worst cases death. So it's very important that you keep these steps in mind um, especially if you live in an area where it is constantly like really hot or you have really hot summers then maybe if it's too hot where you are it might be better to not get an axolotl and to get something else that's a tropical fish maybe instead of a cold water amphibian. Now a very important step is that you always have a thermometer in your axolotl tank. Just a little fish tank thermometer so you can keep an eye on the temperature. Um, I recommend these glass thermometers um you can get like stick on thermometers which i don't recommend they are usually very incorrect but you can also get digital ones which i think are good i think they're good <laughs> i'm pretty sure digital ones are and if temperature starts consistently rising over 20 degrees celsius in some cases you may actually notice stress signs from your axolotl some stress signs can include uh being overly active axolotls are very like lazy chill animals they don't really do much most of the time sometimes they're a bit more active at night but usually during the day they just kind of sit there for like hours but if they are constantly like super active swimming around and it's abnormal then they could be stressed out from the temperature other times is sometimes an axolotl will float if it's too hot they will float to the surface of the tank gill curling can also happen in hot temperature uh, sometimes they can become more pale in color and also uh, won't eat as much if they are stressed another thing is I recommend you keep an eye on your water parameters if it's quite hot because sometimes the heat can actually cause an ammonia spike in your water which can kill your axolotl. Definitely keep an eye on your water parameters because it does unfortunately happen a lot uh, during summer. A lot of axolotls might pass away due to ammonia spikes and it's kind of hard to know if that's happening until you test your water um, so that really sucks. So definitely keep an eye on that you know if you're worried about the water quality and if there ends up being an ammonia spike then you will need to tub your axolotl um, so you can do daily water changes before putting them back in the tank. You want to make sure your cycle is stable again before putting them back. So those are some signs to look out for. Um, now how do we cool the tank down? Now what I just started doing um, because of this heat wave is I put a couple of fans above her tank. Now these are just kind of like cheap fans that I got at like a local store. I got two of them just to be safe uh, and I've kind of just kind of had them sitting above the tank like this and aiming the fan in the water um, so it causes movement in the water. This actually does make a really good difference to the water temperature so I definitely highly recommend this. Um, you can also actually buy fans that are specifically made to sit on top of your fish tank which would be even better but I didn't have the time for that. I've seen them on like AliExpress and stuff. Um, maybe you can get them at some pet stores, but no pet stores near me sell those. Uh, otherwise I would have got those because it probably would work a bit better than 
what I have right now, but this is working fine. Um, it would take too long for me to buy online ones, but I would definitely like to get some of those. Another thing you can do, which is what I've done a few times, is put uh, frozen water bottles in the tank. Any kind of water bottle, put it in your fridge. Not one that's too big though, just kind of like a medium or small size water bottle. Uh, and try to get a few of them, put them in the freezer, and then uh, rotate them throughout the day. Because you want to make sure um, that the temperature isn't fluctuating too much, which is something that can happen if you are using frozen water bottles. So it's like, you know, it's a little bit of a... People have different opinions on using frozen water bottles, but sometimes it's kind of like the only option you have, and it's better than nothing. But it is important to keep an eye on your temperature if you are doing this, because um, temperature fluctuations or sudden temperature drop can be stressful, and you don't want to do that to Axel. Um, so try to have quite a few bottles so you can keep rotating them once one's done, you know what I mean? Or about to be, you can add the other one so it stays consistently at the temperature you want it to be at. What I'm actually using, um, I actually have these little frozen bags uh, from like HelloFresh, I think. <laughs> now these ones are safe because they're just 100% water and I've had no problems with them breaking or anything, um, but some freezer blocks have like chemicals in them so probably don't use those if you don't know what's actually in them um, frozen water bottles might be safer I'm pretty sure I've seen people um, make ice and they put like water conditioner in the ice and then put that in the tank although I feel like it would melt a lot faster I'm not sure but that might be able to work too but again you do have to keep an eye on your temperature make sure it's not fluctuating because you don't want to stress your XL from temperature fluctuations or from like a sudden temperature drop but that does seem to work very well I've done that before uh, and if it ends up getting hotter I'll probably do that as well as the fans oh yeah and another more I guess like obvious thing is to keep them in a cool room keep the the tank like low down on a shelf if possible because obviously heat rises if they're really high they'll be hotter if you have a room with air conditioning that you can put them in put them in there uh, keep your curtains drawn in the room so it stays nice and cool in there. Even just being in an air-conditioned room can help a lot. I think in like America like most homes have like air conditioning already right? Because that's like not a thing here. And probably in like new houses, I don't know. But I think that's why <laughs> even though it's probably not that hot here compared to other countries, it affects us more because we're not used to it and because our homes don't have air conditioning so we just have to suffer. Anyways, um, another thing you can do is wrap uh, like wet towels around the tank. I have not tried this. I'm not sure like how well this works but I've seen a lot of other people say that it works. You can do that. You could probably also um, if you have ice packs and you don't want to put them in your tank because you don't know if they're toxic or not. You probably just like attach the ice pack on the side like on the outside of your tank. That would probably work too to be honest. Personally I have not tried those things but I've heard other people suggest them uh, and working for other people so it doesn't hurt to try if you're looking for options. Another thing you can do is do a partial water change in the tank. Uh, just add some fresh cool water it might just be enough depending on your temperature. If those suggestions aren't helping you can also tub your axolotl um, which if you don't know what that means basically it's a term that the axolotl community uses when you put your axolotl in a shallow container of water. Usually people do this if they haven't got a tank cycled or something or the axolotl is sick, but you can do this to um, keep them cool as well. If they are in a tub you do have to change the water every day because obviously it's not like a cycled tank. Um, so that might keep them nice and cool just keeping them in that. Uh, taking, a, taking the lids off too helps keep it cool, although then you have like the risk of your axolotl potentially jumping out of the tank. Mm. Uh, so like that's kind of scary as well. Obviously I have to, to keep my lid off at the moment so I can keep her tank cool with the fans blowing in but I've had an ex jump out of a tank before so like uh, I don't like doing it but I, I, I can't just let the tank heat up you know what I mean you know I just gotta keep an eye on her and make sure she doesn't get too active or something like that but she seems pretty happy at the moment she's just chilling her usual self but definitely keeping an eye on her more than I usually do at the moment just to make sure she doesn't get too hot always keep an eye on the temperature as well now in more extreme situations where none of those things are working the tank is still just too warm and you live in a country where it's constantly like really warm then you're gonna have to go the more expensive route and get a chiller I don't have an experience with chillers but basically they're 
these machines that cool your water down but they are very expensive unfortunately I think the, the, probably the cheapest one I've seen is around $300 but then you have to make sure it's like the right one for your size tank you know so I don't really know which one to suggest to you if you're looking for one because I have no experience in chillers I'm sure there's probably some youtubers that do have experience that can help you more than I can I don't even know if we can buy them here but yeah that's definitely an option you should look into if you live in like a really hot area um, but obviously that's that's a more expensive option but that means you won't have to worry about it and if you can't do that and you live in a really hot area maybe it's better to like just not connect axolotl because it will probably be too much work and it will be stressful for you and stressful for your axolotl so you don't really want that so yeah I'm, I'm pretty sure that's everything that's all the options there is to help cool your tank down during summer if there's something that I'm missing feel free to comment down below but I'm pretty sure that's everything it's everything I've heard of anyway um, so hopefully these could help you because obviously it's very stressful when this happens especially unexpectedly like for me I did not expect us to get a heat wave because we just don't get heat waves where I live um, so I'm very not used to that I don't do well in the heat and neither do axolotls maybe I am an axolotl but thankfully at the moment my axolotl toothless seems to be totally fine um, so hopefully if, if you're having this issue as well hopefully it all goes well and hopefully axolotl turns out okay if you need any help Feel free to comment down below. I do try to reply to comments asking for any like a kind of advice, but sometimes I might miss them or maybe someone else might see it and help you as well. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I have a whole playlist of XLOL videos if you want to see more info on XLOLs and how to care for them. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Mm -hmm.